Hi guys, so I look insane right now, but I'm demoing Jeffree Star Cosmetics Regina George. I'm actually just going to spray my setting spray directly into the pan. Probably not the best method, but that's how we're doing it. And this is how it swatches, wet and blurry. <laughs> this is the eye that I'm doing today. I'm bringing you the 80s today. I'm using the highlighter wet with a Sigma eyeliner brush, and I'm starting by drawing out the wing. And then I'm starting from the inner corner to meet the wing. It's mixing with the blue eyeshadow for the first layer. This blue eyeshadow is from Suva Beauty and I'll have it linked below. On the second layer, it shows up super metallic, super hot pink, and it was very easy to work with. This literally took me like a minute and a half to do this eyeliner. Curling my lashes and adding some mascara. For falsies, I'm using the Eye Slay Flutter Lashes. I wanted something that flared out on the ends, just like my wing. Using this above and beyond mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to actually highlight with Regina George. I'm using my Morphe M509. And then I'm going right onto the tops of the cheekbones. I was really shocked at how subtle this came off. So all the people who did the dramatic deep videos look dumb. I went in again with my Morphe R12 and added some more. It stayed pretty subtle from the side. It has a very pink white glow and from the front it looks more like a like pretty blush topper. I am super pale. If you're darker than me it's gonna look really pretty on you. Using my Morphe R10 I'm really going in there and I'm using it as more of a contour to blush area. So sorry about these pimples. My skin hates me. The consistency of this highlighter is different than the others. It's almost harder to pick up on your brush, which makes it harder to overdo it. It reminds me a lot of the Huda Beauty textured shadows. Honestly, that's what I was thinking about when I was doing this. And then I'm picking it up on my finger and going right over top of Mannequin, also by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. <laughs> And then I'm topping that off with some lip gloss. And with that, I have completely transformed that nude lip into this really pretty glossy pink lip. And that's it guys, super fast, straight to the point video. I hope you appreciate that and thank you so much for watching.